What's up, Flex Online? This is uh, Kevin Jordan here, uh, Team GAD athlete here. Uh, you're spending a day in the life with me, so welcome to my world. Uh, right now, we're about three weeks out from the 2012 NPC Nationals. Uh, my weight, my current weight this morning was 248.8 pounds. So things are coming down pretty quick. Uh, like I said, we only have three weeks left, so right now it's crunch time. Um, I started at a body weight of about 285 pounds, so I've come down you know, fairly lean, we just got to fine-tune things and uh, bring the package that we want. So um, I feel good, like I said, where I am. I'm uh, working with probably the best trainer in the game right now, Chad Nichols. Uh, working with him just makes me feel that much more comfortable about our prep so far. But uh, other than that, you know, like I said, we just got to keep pushing. We're about three weeks left, so you guys are going to spend a day with me. So hope you guys enjoy. I just got here at perfect time. Uh, right now, as you can see, my uh, supplement stash is getting a little low, so I got this nice little package from the people that uh, get. So let's uh, open it up and see what we have. I'm gonna help stab myself. By the way, if you guys haven't tried these products out, I suggest you highly give them a try. A very underrated company. Let's see what we're working with. Super teen, protein, delicious stuff by the way. One of my faves right now, pre-contest, anybody with a uh, sweet tooth, I definitely suggest getting this stuff. Uh, it's an amino acid drink, great for recovery. Also, stuff tastes really good. This is my favorite actually, the mixed bag candy. So, got a peach flavor. This might be, in my opinion, the best pre-workout on the market right now. The uh, pineapple flavor actually isn't even out in stores, but it's the Nitroflex. Great pre-workout, test booster. Oh, and that's my phone. But, uh, yeah, we got another Nitroflex. And then we just got some Aminos and some BCAs. So, these guys really helped me out at uh, GAT. Thank God, you know, getting ready for national show things. Definitely get a little tough financially with all the burdens, you know, food, cost, cost of living, you know. I do have a daughter, so things get a little pricey in that aspect too. But, you know, like I said, they've, they've been great to me, and uh, I look forward to working with them in the future. So I'm going to put this stuff up, and then we're going to prepare some food, guys. All righty. Um, right now we're getting some food ready. Uh, I usually I don't like to cook my food in bulk. I like to maybe make it, you know, either the... Uh, day of or the night before or something like that. When you're eating so much food like this and it's all clean and healthy, I think you, you gotta kinda keep it fresh. So I like to cook my stuff, like I said, either the night before or the day of, which I'm doing right now, so. <laughs> she said it's about four days of this one? Yeah, this will probably last me about uh, Four days, about five pounds. So I'm doing about 12 ounces right now. A lot of fish, uh, a lot of fish, a lot of lettuce. So still get one steak meal, which I'm loving right now. But um, I'll probably last about like five, five days max. So preparing uh, the proteins right here. We got about 12 ounces of chicken, 12 ounces of uh, steak. That's actually flank. And then we got two 12 ounces of uh, tilapia we're going to prepare. So, the, uh, fortunately, in my new place, I can't have my grill. So, there's no grilling, which kind of sucks, but you got to work with that. So, I'm going to cook these two in pans on the stove and I'm going to bake the fish. So, let's get her started. As far as seasonings, I do the uh, usual suspects. We got garlic powder, 
Piper, uh, Mrs. Dash, of course, original garlic and herb for the fish. I like to put foil in there so I don't have to clean as much. And we'll throw this in about 375 for about 20 minutes or so. Got rice in the microwave. I'm not big on really boiling my rice. I eat it so fast anyway, so. And we got steaks we'll throw in there. My favorite meal, by the way, is steak and oatmeal. I prefer steak and pancakes, but I'll take what I can get. So how would your uh, different meals vary throughout the day but and how many do you have right now? Uh, right now, it's Actually, I'm doing uh, four whole food meals, uh, two protein shakes. So carbs are really low right now, but the fats are high, you know, which is one thing people take for granted. They hear low carb and they start freaking out. But the um, right now, the only meal I'm eating carbs with is the first one. It's the uh, steak and the oatmeal. And after that, I have a shake. Then we do um, fish. Actually, no, I'm sorry. We do uh, chicken or turkey. Half a cup of rice, so you get a little more carbs, some veggies, and then I have two fish meals of lettuce, balsamic vinegar, olive oil for the fats, and uh, another shake. So it's not too bad, you know, I'm still getting plenty of food. I mean, it's not like I'm starving or anything, so I feel good. Like I said, energy though, energy's definitely down, but I mean, I'm three weeks out, it should be. If you don't feel like shit right now, then you're not doing something right, so <laughs> I feel good. People like to cook in bulk, get it out of the way. I uh, I like to taste the food, so I prefer to have it a little bit fresher. And I just kind of season this stuff in the pan. Actually, I cake it on there, I should say. So we're three weeks out, you just started more in the carbs now then? Uh, we kind of we kind of rotate them. Um, I love Chad's approach to dieting. Like I said, anyone looking for a prep coach, I would definitely give this guy a shot. Uh, with all his knowledge and expertise, you know, guys, like I said, is the best. Uh, I don't want to take anything away from anyone, but, you know, I mean, there's a ton of good trainers out there. I just, I feel like he's the best, you know. We rotate the meals um, probably every couple days, depending on my conditioning, what I look like things like that. So, I mean, I was going pretty low carb for a while and then we'll kind of fill me back out. Um, he's not too big on cheats, you know, which uh, it's a diet for a reason. It's show prep, so I'm not too worried about that. But um, I like his approach. You know, it's a lot of variety, a lot of fish, a lot of steak, which I love. I think the steak keeps me full. Um, so I feel good, you know. Like I said, having him in my corner is definitely great. You know, I learned a lot from him also. Uh, a lot of useful tools that I can use with my clients, which makes things awesome. So. You've been with him since 2008, or yeah, we uh, actually it's crazy. I met him kind of kind of strategically planned this, but initially I was going to do the Illinois State to meet uh, Phil Heath just to kind of you know talk to him a little bit. But then um, I lived in St. Louis at the time, and I just called my buddies were doing Chad Show, the Muscle Mayhem, and just the, the name of the show kind of caught my attention. And once they said Chad Nichols was the promoter, I was like, oh. I'm, I'm definitely gonna do that so I uh, went into the show hoping to be a uh, light heavy I actually weighed in around 214 <laughs> which is nowhere near light heavy it's kind of fun it's funny so uh, start talking to Kim a little bit there his wife former Miss Olympia of course and um, met Chad and we just kind of hit it off you know we talked backstage I ended up winning overall which was great um, we talked backstage and from there, we just kind of built a relationship, you know. Like I said, he's been a mentor to me. The guy's almost been like a second dad, so I uh, I really look up to him. You know, I I enjoy working with him. Um, he's really the only trainer that I want to work with as far as uh, my career in bodybuilding. 
and uh, I put 100% of trust and faith in what he says, so I feel good with everything that we've accomplished so far. I'll just go back doing it. Oh, it's not too bad. It's yeah? Tight. That's tight. cool. That's cool. All right. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch you out a little. Let's just get your uh, lower back and upper back off. And the adjustment itself helps you let your nervous system uh, have no interference, and what happens there is that anything you eat goes right to the muscles. There's no interference. Now we're stretching all lumbar, thoracic spine, and cervical spine. Now, what I want you to do, Kevin, is get up on your side and face me over here. Pull those giant arms in. <laughs> All right. All right, bottom leg stays straight. I'm going to bend this leg here. Good. All right. Just relax yourself. Oh, look at that. Mm, moves like butter. <laughs> Let's go to the other side. Same kind of thing. Bottom leg stays straight. Shark tail. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I can play all kinds of movies here. Alright. I'm gonna slide you towards me a little bit. Don't worry if you fall, you <laughs> you get a free trip to Hawaii. Get you up. Know. <laughs> Relax yourself, okay? Awesome. Alright. Now, I'm gonna have you go on your back for me. Excuse me. Alright. Put this right behind you there. Alright. Now. And Grab the shoulder there and there. Make it really tight. Okay. Give me a deep breath in. Let it all the way out. Wow. One more time. Breath in. Let it out. Make it, make it really tight. Kind of there. there you go. Wow. Oh, I got a little tiny bit there. Holy cow. <laughs> all right. You got a lot of muscle again. Okay. Think of something relaxing. Grab the shoulder. There you go. Perfect. You're a new man. That easy. How do you feel? Feels awesome. Feels great. Time for meal three. Uh, just got adjusted by my awesome chiropractor, Jim Nakis. Um, got about 12 ounces of chicken here. Uh, half a cup of brown rice and one cup of green veggies and the secret weapon right here the muscle martini like I said it tastes delicious Jim will have to get you some of that also so uh, you'll love that um, so like I said this is meal three then we're gonna hit up a uh, chest and tricep workout seen this feel this break off man it's my turn